Hey guys, I'm going to back here for that video guys. Today we have an all-time LA Charger squad. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So starting off right away, this squad's actually pretty dang nice. So on offense, we don't have the maxed out Donald Parham, but you can get a maxed out Donald Parham. That's a 90 overall. I currently have the 82 overall version, but you can get a 90 overall version. That's insane. Now, the reason we're 49 out of 50 is because we currently don't have the backup right guard. I can't find him on the auction house. And the backup D tackle, who also is not on the auction house. If I get any of those cards, I get maxed out 50 out of 50. Um, other than that, this team is fully maxed out outside of the quarterback. You can get Geno Smith or Tyrod Taylor. I currently have Herbo because that is currently their starting quarterback in the league. Um, also... No, the running backs are maxed out. Wide receivers. Keenan Allen is technically the 89 overall team of the week card. Is the best card. I have his... Um, Actually, wait. I just realized this. I actually have his 83. I don't know why his 83 was not in here. But here we go. I have his 83 overall. And um, I can actually take out this guy. And put in his 79, I believe. Yeah, what was that? 70? There he is. Jalen uh, Guyton. Yeah, so there we go. So he does have an 89 overall. I have the 82, but there is an 89 overall you can get for this theme team. And to be honest, not a bad offense in all honesty. The line is definitely not the greatest. I mean, again, 82, 80 after maxed out. You know, 83, 78, 83. Ugh, not too amazing. But in all honesty, you got 89 speed Donald Parham as the maxed out there, right? You also do, of course, have this card right here. And Hunter Henry has 84 speed, which is pretty nice. Um, Quentin Johnson here. Obviously, the Keenan Allen is, you know, roided out. 88 speed. Not, I guess, too crazy. But this guy has 86 speed. So, the offense is pretty dang good. And then you got two decent quarterbacks in Geno and Tyrod Taylor. Now, for the defense, um, I am missing maxed out Khalil Mack. It's actually funny because he's an 86 here. His maxed out is an 89, so it's not really that much of an upgrade, in all honesty. But we do have uh, two middle linebackers, Junior, Junior Seo and Monte Teo. That rhymed weirdly. I am missing uh, Kaiser White, but, I mean, he's an 87, so he would just be a third string anyway. Wouldn't really matter. Uh, there is a maxed out Derwin James. That's a 90 overall. So, again, a plus four to this card. Um, and there is also an Antonio Camardi, 88 overall limited time. Which, if you've been following the series, you know I don't buy limited time cards. For the most part, I have in the past. But I try not to until Series Redux comes out. We can add all the Series Redux cards. And once that comes out, I'll probably end up buying like 6,000 Series Redux cards. Um, I also don't have the maxed out Lawrence guy, but that's pretty much that when it comes to the squad. And I'll be honest, this squad's pretty dang good. I mean, it's it's a fun squad, right? The secondary is great. If you max out Derwin James, it's nice. But overall, it's not like not the greatest squad, but it's it's not bad. That's kind of how I'll put it. You know, again, some of these theme teams we got going on here. You know, some of them are kind of questionable, but then you got teams like this where I feel like if you are a Chargers fan and you want to go ahead and build it, it's not a bad squad to build. It's not the greatest squad to build, but it's really not a bad squad. So here's what we got for the all-time team. If you're curious, like I said before, yes, you can get Geno and Tyrod. Honestly, Tyrod probably is the quarterback I would go for. I'm just a fan of Tyrod Taylor, man. I've been a fan ever since he was in Baltimore days uh, behind Joe Flacco. So I'll always be a fan of him. Um, but other than that, defensively, again, that Khalil Mack. I mean, what's his speed? So he has 87 speed. His base elite card has 81 speed. Okay, that's actually a huge upgrade. A plus three overall upgrade, but it's a plus six speed. Oh my gosh, they really gave him a, a boost there. It makes sense because his power move is literally like only plus three and his finesse move is plus three. <laughs> Everything else is plus three, but the speed is plus... Actually, not plus six. I just realized because I already have plus one speed of this. It's a plus seven speed on this card. So everything else is plus three and then speed is plus seven. 
I'm pretty sure that's not just a plus three overall upgrade. If that's the case, that's like more of an upgrade than that. That's absolutely insane. Like, what is the Derwin James? What's his upgrade look like? So his he has 89 speed on this card. His base card has 84 speed. So it's an, a plus five speed upgrade. But that is a plus four overall. So that kind of makes sense. But, wow. And then plus six, no, plus seven zone coverage. Plus uh, seven man coverage. I don't know. I feel like some of these upgrades when uh, EA releases new cards, sometimes it follows like a basic principle to like, okay, so this upgrade is a plus two. So all the stats would be plus twos, you know, plus threes. And then sometimes EA, I feel like, just goes, you know what? It's a new upgrade. We're just going to F it. We'll just make it a plus seven or plus eight. We'll do something crazy. And they don't really follow philosophy at all. But, you know, it is what it is, guys. Definitely tell me down below your thoughts, opinions, and which theme team are you currently rocking? Are you rocking the Chargers? I don't know how many people out there watch this video is going to be rocking the Chargers theme team. It's, again, like I said, not a bad theme team. But out of all the theme teams I currently um, have, I will say going back here, I would probably still rock the Ravens theme team. It's just such a good theme team. You have a great offensive line. Not the greatest, but a great offensive line. You have a amazing tight end core. Amazing receiving core. If you have Zay Flowers, it's amazing. The running back core is decent. And then the defense is just so freaking amazing. You got Ed Reed. You got Humphrey. You got Marcus Peters. Dion. Like, there's so many positives when it comes to that team. But other than that, which is the best team right now? Have we hit an 87? We have not hit an 87. The Chiefs always have the best team, like, theme teams in Madden, I feel like. Especially as of recent memory, just because, again, they're the Chiefs, okay? <laughs> People want the Chiefs to use the Chiefs theme teams. And look at that. I mean, their receiving core, their running back. Their running back core is not the greatest, though. Kareem Hunt needs to have a couple more big games so that they can have a better running back core. Their offensive line is just stupid OP. Like, that's not even a question, it's stupid OP. Their defense, it's like it's like stupid OP, but it's not. No, it, it is stupid OP. Especially because some of these guys that they have on their defense are like known players. They're going to get new cards sometime soon. So that just makes it even more of the fact that it's going to be more and more stupid OP. <sighs> Kansas City Chiefs. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. Okay, it's not me hating on the Chiefs. That's the other channel we hate on the Chiefs. This channel, we don't hate on the Chiefs as much. See you guys next one. Peace out, man.